Over 100,000 people may have been exposed to the measles virus in Texas. Why should we be afraid of the measles? A lot of people think of the measles as just this thing that causes fever, rash, nasal congestion, cough, and some redness in the eyes, but there's some serious potential complications here. Approximately one in 1,000 end up getting something called post-infectious encephalitis, which when you think one in 1,000, you're like, oh, that's really not a lot. But if you think about the fact that there are 8 billion people on the planet, if 8 billion people get infected, then 8 million people would end up with this really serious complication. You end up getting inflammation of the brain and the spinal column, and it can lead to some really serious things like inability to move your arm or your leg, a lot of confusion, difficulty thinking, seizures. You have a 25% chance of having a long-standing neurologic issue. Approximately 15% of people with this condition end up dying from it. That's pretty serious. Also, five to 10 years after the measles, literally five to 10 years after you get the measles, you're at increased risk for this thing called subacute sclerosing panencephalitis, which can cause like behavioral changes. You're not gonna be acting like the same person that everybody knew. You get confused really easily. You might not be able to move your arm or your leg. You can get seizures and a significant portion of people who get this end up dying from it. So measles is no joke, y'all. Get your kids vaccinated. There's nothing political about this.